Hello, my name is Latrina. Earlier today, you spoke with my son, Chris, who offered you a custom video with tips and tricks to improve your online presence. Um, as he mentioned, we've been making these as a courtesy um, in the community. Um, we don't sell in these videos. We believe that givers gain, so it's our way of giving back um, to the community and bringing value and service to your business. But your feedback would be helpful to us so that we know that the videos are actually being watched and are helpful. So at the end of watching, if you can please just let us know, reply to the email, let us know if it was helpful or not. Um, that would be greatly appreciated, okay? So let me get started. I'm going to go over content backlinks and citations and why these are important website elements for you to have. Um, we'll go over your company's online presence and make recommendations for any improvement that I see. Content is anything on your website. It's the words, the images, the video, media, anything. And it's important to have sufficient content on your website because this is what lures Google to your website and keeps them there. The more content you have, the better. 1,500 words at least, ideally 2,000 on the home page and at least 500 on the back pages. This gives the Google bot sufficient time to spend on your website, become familiar with your business, and as a result, put your business in front and center um, when people are searching for your services. Citations are also important to have throughout the internet. These are directory listings in Google, Yelp, Yellow Pages, etc. It's your business name, your address, your phone number, and you want to have these throughout the internet, preferably, preferably more than your competition, okay? Because it's important to have your, rec your name throughout the internet so that people can easily find you and Google can consider you validated. You also want to get backlinks wherever you can on relevant websites. Backlinks is the placement of your website onto other websites. So when you get a Yelp page or Facebook, LinkedIn, any other um, listing that points back to your website, that's considered a backlink. And they're helpful because they direct traffic back to your website. But not only that, the more backlinks you have, the more popular your website becomes with Google. Google places extremely high emphasis on those websites that have a lot of backlinks. And this is because in Google's eyes, that validates and shows that you are a legitimate business. Okay, so it's important to get those and keep those out there. So let's take a look at Google. So the way Google is set up, Painting Contractors Columbia, Maryland is what I search, right? Initially, what we will see are the ads that people have in Google. Um, these are a great supplement to marketing campaigns, but there are a couple of things that I caution business owners, at least make them informed about. So when you're adding ads or using ads, sometimes people have ad blockers on their computers, so they won't necessarily see the ads that you're um, paying for. Also, sometimes you'll notice there'll be ads from like Angie's List, Thumbtack, Home Advisor, Yelp. Um, those are good services to use, but something to keep in mind is that um, most times business owners aren't aware that they are being charged in those services. So you get charged for every lead that you receive, right? But the kicker is that you're sharing that very same lead with four other business people. So you're paying for a lead that you may not even land and that has been sent out to four other companies at the same time. So it's just something to be aware of. I'm not discouraging use of those services, but it's just something to know about when you're paying for them. So the ideal place to find your business listed is here in the map pack and you are actually listed here. So kudos to you for that. Um, the map pack gets the heaviest amount of traffic compared to um, the ads and the other parts of the pages. Okay, 30 to 40 percent usually at least um, of the traffic is clicking here in this area. And then further down, Google continues to rank the websites. So you want to, if you are listed on the first and second pages, you are considered doing extremely well in Google and you are on the first page. So again, congratulations for that. You're doing an excellent job with making sure your, your website is getting the attention it needs from Google. So when I look at your website, <clears throat> I'm going to say that um, it's very informative. I like the layout. Um, my only suggestion to you is to try to get more content on your homepage 
and you might say, well, I'm already on the, um, on the first page. I'm already in the map pack. Exactly right. And you want to protect your position, right? So you don't want someone to come and have a better website, have more content and bump you out of your place. So my recommendation is when you have time, build out your website some more, get some more content. You are doing an excellent job so far, but just enhance it as much as you can with more content. Also, when you have opportunities for placement of photos, don't just number them like one, two, three, four, five. Say very thoughtful keywords to those images. Um, the file name will also be searched by Google and it's another opportunity to get the keywords out there. For example, um, if you are a painting company, maybe um, house painting in Frederick, Maryland, house painting in Columbia, Maryland, that could be an example of a keyword and it would be a keyword that would work for you and help you to get even more keywords with with Google. See, here's another one that just has a number associated. So um, just think about interior painting and the city or something like that. Um, it's important to put the city as well because it, then it identifies what particular area you cover. And again, that helps Google to know when to showcase your business in front of your viewers that you're trying to, to reach, right? So if we take a look at your data, you're doing pretty good here. Um, you can see I'm showing you side by side with one of your competitors. Your competitor is just barely doing better than you. Um, but if you take advantage of the feedback that I've given you, add more content, get more backlinks, you'd certainly need more backlinks. Your backlinks is pretty on the pretty much on the low side. You had 455 at one point. You now have 147, and that's because backlinks don't have a very long lifespan. Um, people replace them. They um, replace them with um, more recent backlinks that other companies um, place on there. So these are things you need to be continually working on, um, adding more backlinks, boosting your company as much as possible. Don't throw a whole bunch at one time. Like you don't want to have 500 backlinks at once. Um, you, you sort of want to do this on a gradual basis so that Google doesn't consider you spamming. Um, they will certainly flag you if you do that. Um, so just be thoughtful about getting more backlinks. You want to have more referring domains pointing to your website. Remember those citations um, are just as important. You do have an ample amount of keywords, but again, you have an opportunity to use additional keywords. I'm noticing on your website that you service um, many areas outside of Columbia, but your keywords don't necessarily reflect that so much. Um, I did see some Columbia, Maryland keywords in there. Um, let's see if there are more. I don't know what John Bowie, I, I don't know what that's about, but um, certainly make sure your keywords are capturing all of the locations or at least most of the locations that you cover. Maryland is very gen generic. It's not specific enough. Um, it's okay to have some of those, but you really want to, you want to zero in on the actual cities that you service because I did see in some of your photos, you were doing work in other places. Um, Frederick, Maryland, for example, where I'm located. I know I saw photos showcasing the work that you were doing there. So um, be mindful of that. That will give you an edge over your competition. It's all about doing a little bit more than what your competitors are doing, right? Um, so let's take a look. I'm going to do a few more seconds of this because I don't want to hold you up too long. Um, but let's see with what one of your competitors are using for keywords. They're probably not doing very much more than you. But see, here's the example, interior painting Rockville. I don't know if you even go to Rockville, but you want to kind of use the keywords of what you do and attach it to a location, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, the more you do that, the more opportunity Google has to say, hey, they service all of these different areas. And it helps them that when someone types in, for example, house painting, Frederick, Maryland, 
they will know, hey, STB actually covers that area too. Let's put them in front of them. Let's make them a search result. All right, so that's the logic behind it. So the takeaways, add more content to your homepage. Your homepage is beautiful. Um, I would just say add more content, tag your, your file, your images with more um, relevant keywords, get some more backlinks, gradually add to those, um, get some more referring domains, and you will be um, doing a whole lot better. Okay, you're not doing bad. I just want to clarify that. Um, there's just an opportunity for improvement and becoming more competitive um, with some of those um, other companies out there. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. Um, I hope this has been helpful to you. Please let me know. Um, shoot us an email, um, one or two lines. Let us know that you watched it. Let us know if it was helpful at all. And if you have questions for us, we'd be happy to spend time going over this in greater detail or clarifying anything that we've mentioned here in this video for you. Have a wonderful day and best wishes in your business. Bye-bye.